tie, a very hard FA Cup tie as well, but very pleased to come out on the winning side. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think I think we deserved it. Towards the end, we played we played good football, and obviously, with them being a league above, we kind of had something to prove almost. So it's definitely good to get the win. They like to use the flanks, don't they? Enough. Jerry Pritchard was down your side of the pitch, wasn't he? It was a good tussle between you two all afternoon. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they were they're very good sides. They gave us problems at some parts of the game, but I thought we dealt with them. We dealt, we got through them kind of sticky periods, and thankfully it came out the good side. Haven't had the opportunity to see too much of, of Corey Blackett Taylor on the pitch since he arrived with his injury, but uh, I mean that was a some first goal he's good for you today, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've played against Corey back in my academy days so I know what he's capable of and it's, he's a great asset to have in our team so everyone's happy to get him back. But when you've got the pace like Corey has in, in a side as, as a full back I mean is there a particular way that you have to try and handle him because you know if you get close to him and he gets away from me he's still able to catch you? Yeah I mean I think if you ask any defender the one thing you don't want the winger to have is pace and as you said Corey has that in he has a lot of pace so it makes I mean, as a defender it definitely makes our job very difficult. And from your perspective as a defender, sometimes if you look up, I mean, you know, at an out ball and you know Corey's got the pace, you, you can play a slightly different ball forward as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he adds he adds different dimensions to our team. Something maybe we've been lacking without him. So to have him back, he's a, as I said, he's a great great asset to us. Back on level terms, even at the break, you know, you did the, the crossbar, they hit the post in the second half, but you, you kept in the game and. You know how good Peter Clark can be inside the opposition box. That's another terrific header from him to win the the cup tie for you. Yeah, I mean, we were a bit disappointed at halftime to be one one. I think we probably had the better of the first half, but you can see goals sometimes, and I think it it kind of shows what we're building as a group that we were able to. We didn't get disheartened by it. We came out and thankfully got the win. Yeah, I mean, you know, two wins in a week now. Uh, you know, the, the confidence in the dressing room is that rising. Yeah, definitely it has to be. I mean. All throughout the week, we've been speaking about after the Hurricane game. It's about consist consistency now. Something obviously we've been lacking, but hopefully we can get a good run going now and keep it going. FA Cup first round, you're now just one step away from from the third round, and everybody's eyes lights up in in terms of that. Just how important is the cup alongside the league at the moment? Do you think? I mean, yeah, obviously the league's the league's important, but as you said, everyone wants to get to the third round and get a big tie, so we can't wait for the second round. I'm just saying to your interim boss, Ian, though, you know, the, it, it's been a difficult week for everybody. You, you're on loan at the club, you know, you're in that dressing room. How's it been for you this week? Has it been a tricky week? Obviously, it's been it's been my first kind of experience of it all, so it's a, it's a learning curve, but it, everything's been great. I mean, I think we've responded to the tough week very well, obviously getting two wins, so we're just looking to go from strength to strength. Is the fact that you've got a lot of experienced players in that dressing room and around you and you can talk to if you need to as well, is that a big plus for you? Yeah, 100%. I mean, there's there's thousands of, of league games in that changing room, so you'd be silly not to not to tap into that and learn from it, so it's something I'm definitely doing. And, and you came to Tramier, I'm sure you, you know, aside, you think of the push for promotion, you know, have a, have a really good season from what you've sort of seen within the squad and the development of the squad. Now you still sort of feel you can push on as the season goes on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously everyone knows you've had a a difficult start to the season but there's still a lot of points left to play for so it's just for us it's just about as I said consistency and just getting a run going and then we should we should be going up the table. It's a big deal for you as well you know coming out on loan as a young, a young player as well uh, have you had much say in, in where you came have you, did you have to be very careful about making the right choice about where you came to? I mean definitely yeah it's something it's something I had to think about and obviously Mike was the one that brought me here and speaking to him he made he made it very easy for me what he said and I'm I'm thankful he gave me the opportunity. Uh, obviously, as you say, with the players around you now, you 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 bedded into it. You know you've got that right back slot at the moment, and, and you'll be improving and learning your game as well. Yeah, definitely. That's that's something that's big for me. I think just learning as I go on, and I think I feel like I've been I've been going from strength to strength every game. So hopefully, I can just continue getting better, and we can continue getting better as a team as well. And you'll be tuning into that draw on, on Monday night and another home draw and, and, and a step closer to the third round perhaps. Yeah, definitely. That would be that would be a very nice draw to get another another game at home, but home or away we'll we'll be confident. Well done today, Blake. Thank you. You were given quite a sort of examination throughout the game down that week, do you, do, which you were up to. Um, do you enjoy the situation as a full back where you've got a lot to do and, and, and you know you're more, it's more reliant on a full back to, to, uh, to cut out a supply or prefer it if the ball's at the other end of the pitch? 
No, I mean, you have to kind of, as a defender, you're always going to get them games, you're always going to get them players against you, so you have to take you have to take pride in that to, to stop them yourself, stop it at source. So for me, today was one of those days and I thought I came out with it reasonably good.